There we go. We finally maxed out our Boom Beach base here, and I kind of wish Boom Beach added something like confetti once you fully max it out. But now that we are maxed, we can remove our resource reward statue. I'm going to temporarily replace that with a Power Stone Chance masterpiece here. 70 five percent and then i'll probably replace that power stone chance one once i get another gbe 17 percent um guardian there but we're just gonna get a nice map clear in today and it's nice all i really need loot for now is converting it into raw crystals which the tribe boosts are pretty expensive so i still do need loot but we have a good amount of raw crystals stored up um and we don't really need to boost anything right now but we're gonna hop into our map clear sitting just under 740 medals i think we can get up to over 750 which will be nice but Man, I, I, I kind of, I, I'm going to miss that resource reward. I like seeing the extra loot next to, like, the base totals and all that. I'm going to miss you, um, <laughs> resource reward a little bit. I'm probably going to need one eventually, because it seems whenever I max up my base, Boom Beach comes out with a, uh, a, another HQ level a few, a couple months after. So I'll probably have to store that up. I'm not, I'm not sure if HQ 25 will ever come out, but... Um, they've been trending toward it because they didn't have an extra HQ level forever and then all of a sudden 23 and 24 came out um, two years in a row which was nice but anyway this first base going down very easy you know with this Scormadeer strat I love the front loaded bases we just fly through them very efficient map clear and we just demolished that first base hopefully not many I don't have a large base selection I've been I've been attacking pretty regularly once even twice a day clearing my map because we want to get that push going but uh, I, I just hope nobody else is online but anyway let's hop into this one not a front loaded base but it's okay because uh, I, I think it's still gonna be a pretty easy attack not the best base design when it comes to defenses but we are gonna throw a couple boxes of critters I see that shock mine hiding in his mega crab statues there Almost got some of my Scorchers, but we we're able to avoid it. Let's get some Shock Bombs out. And with the Shock Bomb duration boosted in the Tribes, we only really... It seems like with these attacks, the Bombardiers take out the buildings quick enough. You only need to throw, like, a Shock Bomb on a certain defense once before the Bombardiers take out. Very nice. Kind of spoiling myself with uh, that Shock Bomb duration Tribe, but... Um, I think uh, there's like six, maybe like five days left on the tribe. It's going to be an adjustment, but who knows? Maybe they'll come out with another amazing tribe. Like, uh, I, I really like barrage cost reduction because you can just spam the barrages or even barrage damage. Those are both uh, very good, but no one it'll be like med kit duration or med kit healing a little bit more anyway we are flying through the bases but i can see my gold total is not changing at all and that's because we just uh picked up that resource reward so we're almost getting like no gold in return once you account for casualties in a battle so we got to make sure to keep about a million gold before we go on a map clear, if worse comes to worse, I'm kind of letting the grapplers take my scorchers there. We are okay that we got a shock bomb down, but if worse comes to worse, I always can collect my resource boat. I've been saving it up, but that's why it's there. If you need an emergency resource or something, but uh, I, I know people like to save them up forever, and then uh, I, I don't get the point of that. I think Christian does that. He doesn't collect it ever. It's like, well, once you like max out your storage is like in the amount like what's the point of doing that but maybe one day he'll collect it it'll be like 50 million of each resource i don't know does it stack that high is it endless or does it just go till uh your storage is full up i do not know the answer th to that but i know we are struggling quite a bit on this base we gotta focus up here so the doom cannon and grappler kind of uh screwed my attack at the start here i should have been more alert but we're gonna start we we got enough energy to hopefully clean up enough defenses here to get our bombardiers in a good position to finish off this base but i I, I'm, I have a little bit of a gold shortage, so we should be more cautious about our casualties today, but I think we're still going to be able to take it out. We got rid of the boom cannons, not many other defenses here. That's the nice thing about the bombardiers. They sit so far back, 
unless your Scorchers die right away in the attack, you're still probably going to win. And you can see over in his forest there, he is hiding the ice statues. He doesn't want you to see him. And uh, I, I, I definitely felt it in this attack here. But let's get Flare. It didn't matter. I guess we still had a Scorcher alive at the end, but it's going to be pricey retraining all these scorchers and the one bombardier let's see 426,000 and uh still around 700,000 gold let's see maybe we'll run into a gold monster here but backloader base see that last that last attack is why i don't like backloader bases it seems like the ba the base like just out it, it, it's got more stamina than my troops when it comes to it so that's why I am a little bit more picky on the backloader bases and will sometimes, if I have the ability to like find a different opponent, I might. But uh, this base here, let's be, we, let's not make the same mistakes here. We gotta shock the damage amplified boom cannons and doom cannon there. And then we did miss a couple. Let's get another couple out here. We got energy to spend. No point holding on to it, especially the worst part of the base straight off the bat here with all those boom cannons you clumped them up which makes it very easy to counter if i was going for like an afk attack or just place my troops down i'm like multitasking doing some else maybe editing a video or something he might have got me but we are somewhat paying attention here so uh we we're able to counter it i do see we might lose a couple scorchers this battle but that is okay i think we'll have enough gold to make it up and then, um, did I boost up my power stone chance? I don't think I did, and I'm not gonna right now, but I was planning on it before these attacks, because I wanna, I wanna get some crystals in here, but I'm just mainly going for, like, the dark crystals and all that, or even dark shards, because we're trying to get that 17, 17% GBE, and I think I've cooked up, like, 20 dark, uh, um, guardians, jeez, I can't think right now, but... Uh, and like the best GBE percent I got was like 13%. I was like, no, we're, we're, we need to be greedy. We need to get 17, maximize our GBE. So we're still looking for that. All right, but this one, finally, a front-loaded base we can attack. Let's get our Scorchers down. We'll spread out our troops behind, and then probably should have scouted out a little bit more because I'm a little bit late on the shock bombs here but we're gonna want to make sure we shock those laser beams so it does not kill our bombardiers in the back and then that first round of shock bombs there we'll probably get through the defenses before the durations run up actually we might need to reinforce it on the right hand side here perfectly fine how did I miss that boom cannon I tried to get like all the defense that's there and my shock bomb accuracy is still terrible it's okay we'll still get through this battle even if we lose a couple scorchers maybe a medic or even a bombardier we're still gonna get through it and this is just kind of like a messy i don't see how you can like spread your statues out like just randomly how do you find them like i guess once you like kind of get the hang of it you know where they are and we're losing we are we just put our troops in a terrible position by flaring onto that HQ. Dumb on my end, but we were criticizing the statue layout. I always have them clumped up. Let me know down below. Do you guys have them randomly scattered or like clumped up like me? Because I got them in a nice organized fashion, but I guess like having them spread out, the advantage would be like maybe the opponent doesn't see an ice statue or something boosted like that. And then they go in a little bit too comfortable. Um, into the attack but I don't know I like to have them organized like that but let's hop into this one backloaded base but I don't think we'll really run into problems because the biggest threats is in front here which is nice so we'll get our troops placed down we'll get a couple shock bombs out try and thread it under the sky shield perfect barely got it under we'll get another one just to shock the shock launcher and now I'm hoping the critters take out those mines yes they did great start to this attack now we're gonna invest in a couple barrages to take out the boom cannons here because that's all i really need to worry about for this attack cleaning up the boom cannons because that's the biggest threat possibly taking out the scorchers but anyway let's uh let's get that final one taken out need another artillery just a sliver of health you hate to see it but we had enough energy to get it down it seems like there's always one medic every attack it seems like one medic will die no matter how clean the attack is 
no matter how easy the base is, the one medic, I'll lose it. It'll just run out, try and heal up a Scorcher, and then, like, blow up a Boom Mine or something. A little bit dumb, but I need to fix that, medics. Uh, but anyway, Mag Cop here, we are going to take you out. What does that leave me? Probably one base, and the owner might be online still. Maybe there's another one I didn't see, but just uh, going off memory here. Let's retrain our one medic. And, uh, okay, we got two more. Let's see. Still online. Okay, must be clearing his map. We're doing... There's two online. You've got to be kidding me. Didn't I ask that you guys wouldn't go online while I'm recording? Well, that's that stinks. Let's, uh... We got a resource base. Same one we've been attacking. It's a tricky one, but... We have, uh... We've been dominating it back and forth. Both of us just taking it back every single day. I need my resources... I think it's an iron one. I don't need iron, but I want the one metal. I, I want the one metal here. Let's, uh, with the boom cannons, that, that always trips me up. The boom cannons are so clumped together. They always get a scorcher or two, and then the rock launchers try and snipe at my bombardiers. But, uh, you can tell this base is getting stronger and stronger every time. There's gonna be a day that I might have to switch it up in hopes that, uh, in hopes he doesn't switch back the base design so there's always a chance then just outpace which one quits the game first you know but uh editing resource bases so difficult so tedious it's like not worth it you just keep that original design but we lost the one medic we lost the one scorcher there let's uh let's check back one more time still online and still online unfortunate but once we once they hop offline i'll probably hop on later today and clear both of them out we will be at 500 500 755 medals this push is going slow slow and steady though that's how you win the race but that's going to be it thanks for watching finally has have a maxed out base here feels very nice and yeah we'll see you in tomorrow's boom beach video Bye bye